Zuko here, and it is time for my September wrap-up. So this month I read half a book, which was the second half of the book that I only read half of last month. Because if you watched my video a couple weeks ago, you will know I am in a slump. And also I would like to thank the people who left me long uh, messages on how to possibly break out of this slump. I think it's slowly going away, and I just really appreciated that you took the time out of your day to tell me some suggestions on how to stop being so slumpy. Also, look at my princess hair. I braided it three times instead of one and I just feel majestic. Also, I don't know if you know, I shaved the side of my hair because it was bugging me and I always had it tucked behind that ear anyway, so like what was the point of having it? Anyway, <laughs> this month uh, I finished reading The 100 by Cass Morgan. <sighs> this was like maybe 2.5. I don't know. It wasn't a great book. It was like, incredibly mediocre. The characters were boring. Like, no one made you feel sympathy for them. They were all pretty... Eh. I guess I should start off by saying that if you haven't read the book, or heard about the book, or read read the TV show, watch the TV show, which apparently is very not like the book at all, where they ignore a lot of characters, or just kill main characters three episodes in for some reason, and they changed a bunch of characters. Anyway, this is about uh, the Earth had a big nuclear apocalypse called the Cataclysm, and the people made a giant spaceship and flew away to avoid their problems, and it's been 300 years, and the spaceship has a really flawed government system where they just kind of kill everybody that does anything that they decide is wrong, but miners are just kind of sent to jail, and then when they're 18, they can be retried. But instead, they're like, hey, let's just take a hundred of these miners who have done super bad crimes, as you're led to believe, but really, like, their crimes are essentially like, ah, oh, man, I stuck my gum to the underside of a table, now I'm being sentenced to death. Like, their crimes are dumb. It, it's just, it's dramatic. It's over dramatic. It's ridiculous. So these kids get sent back to Earth to see if it's survivable. And all of these kids with their super bad crimes, you find out that they all had really pure crimes and there's just so much relationship drama garbage nonsense. Like, this is like a... There's four books now? I don't care about a single one of these characters enough to read another one of these books. Like, they're all just so bland. No one is interesting. Some, like... Huh, it's not a good book, guys. Don't read this. It's, it's boring. Like, it was really easy to read. It's fast. It's like reading a John Green book where you just, like, will fly through it because it's a simple read. But unlike a John Green book, mm -mm, this isn't interesting. There was no part of me that wanted to finish this book. I only finished it so I didn't have to DNF it because I feel bad that I've been DNFing a couple of books. And by a couple, I mean, like, three. But that's a lot <laughs> if you've never really DNF books. So, yeah, that's what I thought of The 100. This was a fun video where I tell you why I don't like this book. Um, and yeah, since I was the only half book I read this month, that's really all I have to say. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you whenever I do my next one.